Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Shining Time Making another video today I know I haven't been posting a lot But um Been busy So when I get the opportunity to post some videos You know I try to get it done I want to keep my channel active The topic of my video today is Black people And our superstitions man The superstitions You know there's this whole religion, the superstition, and thing, it just it causes too much confusion in the black community. There's too much damn confusion. You got all these groups worshiping this and that and you know, I just I don't even understand this sometimes. How people can believe in this stuff and actually think that it's somehow gonna change our condition in this country and change black america you know it's like what what is going on what what are we thinking what are our people what is our mindset we're we're stuck in 200 years in the past with some of these people and they're thinking i mean it's hard to understand the most prosper let me just try to calm down and break this down logically the most prosperous, fastest growing nations in the world right now are what? China? India? These nations are not Christian. China, damn, China's a damn secular nation. Atheistic nation. And they are blowing up. You know what I mean? What sparked this video is that I watched a video by... You know, I I don't even want to start a war on YouTube, but fuck it. I watched a video by a guy named um, Amol Raya. And, you know, this, this is a kind of, this video is the kind of thing that I'm talking about where superstition causes too much confusion in the black community. And it causes people to be lazy and lose ambition and lose the will to get up and actually make a difference. Let me tell you something. If you're sitting here talking about you're waiting on Yah to come back and save or rescue black people from whatever oppression you perceive. I mean, if the if the God didn't come back at our lowest point in this country during slavery, if no God came back to save black people during slavery, during the lowest point in our histories, what makes you think there's a God coming back now? When in the history of the world has there ever been some spirit or God that has returned and brought order and justice to the world and punished those, those individuals who have exploited and destroyed their, their fellow man? When has that ever happened in the history of our planet? Never. And yet you have all these black people sitting around waiting for it to happen, preaching all of this nonsense about Yahweh and Jesus. You know, I get on the spiritual tip a lot because I just feel like black people need to, we need to just turn away from this spiritual stuff, you know. It's funny, the irony in Amor Amoriah's video, the ironic part is that he's talking about Yah coming back and avenging black people. A hello, you're worshiping a Jewish god, a Semitic god from the desert. Why in the hell would the Semitic god come back and help you, an African? <laughs> what sense does that make? You're worshiping the god of the people who oppressed you and you expect this god to show up and help you. Does that make any sense to people out there? I mean, let me know. Am I off base here? And this is what I mean, you know, um, I'm reading Uncle Tom's Cabin right now. And I, I read, I'm read, i reading this book because uh, Harvey Superboy talked about the book and how we black people should learn more about our history. And I really took that advice to heart. And I, and I read, I, start, I, want, I really want to immerse myself in African-American literature because that is definitely an area I'm lacking in. All throughout my education, I've read lots of books by... Mainstream American authors, British, 
but I've never really been exposed to African or African American literature until college, basically. In community college, we were exposed to a guy named Chinwe Achebe, who was an African author, a Nigerian author. And now I'm reading some African American literature, at least literature that has to do with the African American experience here in America. Uh, after I read Uncle Tom's Cabin, I'm going to read Langston Hughes and then move on from there and try to, over the few months, immerse myself in that. But you know, the slaves, they were, Christianity was forced upon them. And few of them, it seems, recognized that they're praying to the God of their oppressors to come and rescue them. And no God ever showed up to ever free the slaves. It took hundreds, it took thousands, tens of thousands of people. It took the deaths of tens of thousands of people to free the slaves. Millions of Africans died in the slave trade. Your God sat around and watched it all happen and did nothing. What makes you think that a God is going to come back? And th th You know, I don't understand that when you sit around and you hear people talking about, oh, just wait on Jesus. Oh, it's going to be all right. One. No, it's not. If you don't do anything about the reality that we live in, it's nothing's ever going to change. That is my whole that is my whole point in this video. To borrow a phrase from Sergeant Willie Pete. You know, I'm not about the nuts and berries and hotep bullshit. We live in the real world. None of this spirituality shit has ever been demonstrated to improve our condition. There were no gods that came and warned Africans about the slave trade that was going to happen. There were no gods that rescued the African slaves. This is why I subscribe to people like Harvey Superboy. Uh, to the other guy who... um. He's got a, a gasoline uh, pump fused with a noose in his picture. I can't remember his name. Because these people make logical arguments. They argue from logic, from reality, not from some religious text. They point out the reality of the situation that we live in and methods in which we can fix it. For example, praying and praying and praying that somehow the energy crisis that's looming in the world will just go away magically. It's not going to happen. There's no God that's going to come back and magically make oil 95 cents a gallon like it was in the 70s. That's not going to happen. Sorry. And this is our people need to wake up and realize that we live in the real world. If we were to make changes, stop praying, Start doing. Stop hoping for Yah to come back. To save you. To avenge you. To make you, you know, to sweep you up and take you into some paradise somewhere. There's too much confusion with religious, you know, religiosity if in the black community. There's just too much confusion. Hit me back. Respond to my video. Thanks for listening. I'm out.